Burgers are everybody's favorite and today I'm going to show you a very interesting homemade version with millets. So let's see how to make millet burger. As the name suggests, the patty is going to be made with millets. So I've taken about 3 4 cup of foxtail millets, soaked it for about half an hour and then boiled it in about one and a half cups of water, drained it out completely and cooled it down. And this is what I get after that. I'm going to flavor these patties with some herb mix as well as corn. So in a pan, I'm going to saute a few ingredients. Let's turn on the flame. Heat one and a half tablespoons of oil. Add in one onion finely chopped, one cup corn which I've slightly crushed. Saute this for about two to three minutes. A tablespoon of ginger chili paste. This herb mixture that I've made, I've coarsely ground one cup of basil leaves, half a cup of coriander leaves and four to five garlic cloves. Saute this for a few seconds. Turn off the flame and cool this mixture down completely. And now let's add in a few more ingredients. Boiled millets. You can even take quinoa instead. That goes very well in this recipe. Half cup breadcrumbs, salt to taste, pepper to taste, a tablespoon of corn flour, one tablespoon oregano, one big potato boiled and grated. Mix all these ingredients properly and try and mash everything and bind everything together. Combine everything to make a dough-like mixture. Now let's start making a patty. Roll the edges on a plate. In this way, shape all the patties. Time to roast these patties. Heat a pan, drizzle some oil. Once the oil is hot, place the patties. Let's flip the patties. While the patties are roasting, let's quickly make the mayo spread. I have one cup of mayonnaise here. Add in three tablespoons of finely chopped cabbage. Add in one carrot finely chopped, salt to taste. Half a teaspoon of chili flakes. Mix all these ingredients together. Chill the spread till you're ready to use. For the ketchup spread, take three tablespoons of ketchup. Add in one and a half tablespoons of chili sauce a tablespoon of mustard sauce. Mix all these ingredients together and keep this aside. These are roasted. Let's get them out. Be very careful while you're flipping these patties because they can break very easily. So very gently handle them. I have two burger buns over here that I've cut into half and slightly buttered and roasted them. Over this, I'm going to spread the ketchup mix. Generously spread it. Place a lettuce leaf. Let's place an onion slice, tomato slice. Sprinkle a pinch of salt, pepper. Let's place the burger patty. Generously spread the mayo mixture so that the burger doesn't taste dry. Cover it with the other half of the burger and place a toothpick to lock everything together. You saw how easy this was. There's a blast of flavors and it's full of protein. Do give this millet burger a try. Let me know how it turned out. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.